This is a city, and so is this, this, and this, and this one too. Now this is a line, also known as a one-dimensional figure that's made out of points that stretches endlessly in opposite directions. In a more broader definition, this is also a line. These are multiple lines with the guy walking by, and this is also a line, but it's in the wrong context. But now you're probably thinking, hey, this is a pretty long intro. And to that, I say yeah, so is the super long mega city being built in the Saudi Arabian desert that walks the fine line between the cutting edge future of our cities and a 1984 style dystopian future waiting to happen. A little over a year ago in 2021, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman announced plans to draw a line in the sand against urban sprawl and pollution and build a new vision for a sci-fi like city called The Line. The project is a part of the Saudi Arabian government's Saudi Vision 2030, a strategic framework launched in 2016 that aims to reduce Saudi Arabia's dependence on oil, diversify its economy, and develop its public sectors. The Line falls under the Neom Project, a region in the Tabuk province of northwestern Saudi Arabia that's planned to incorporate various top-of-the-line smart city technologies and become a major tourist destination. The line is composed of two mirrored skyscrapers, but unlike my previous video on the world's skinniest skyscraper, these are some wide boys. Stretching out 170 kilometers or 105 freedom units from the Red Sea and 500 meters or about 1.13 empire states into the air. It's proposed to eventually house about 9 million people. The project proposes a new sci-fi form of vertical urbanism that avoids urban sprawl and puts humans and nature over transportation infrastructure. The line will have no cars, roads, or emissions, will run on renewable energy, and through its linear form, preserve 95% of the natural environment around it. The city is arranged to have aggregated clusters of communities along the central corridor, meaning you're only ever a five minute walk away from your school, doctor, or favorite boba spot. A high speed rail system is also planned to fulfill a 20 minute end to end service so you're never far or isolated from the other community. Someone please tell that to the Chicago Transit Authority while you'll be waiting on the platform for 40 minutes before even getting on the train. It's planned to have greenery stretching along the top and throughout the line, providing uninterrupted access to nature within a two minute walk. The structures within are designed to have microclimatic spaces with a balance of sunlight, shade, and open air ventilation to provide a stable year round climate in the heat of the array. Arabian desert. The city will feature various sensors and artificial intelligence systems that monitor the city and use predictive modeling to improve and manage power, water, waste, transport, healthcare, and security. Data will also reportedly be collected from residents' homes, smartphones, and facial recognition cameras, causing a certain degree of concern over data privacy issues. But even with all that, it's not the first time linear cities have been proposed. Reducing the footprint of urban development in favor of nature seems to be a pretty popular idea. I wonder why. The first was developed by Arturo Sorio Yamata in Madrid, Spain in 1882 with a city that would consist of a series of functionally specialized parallel sectors. Another project along the same line was proposed in the United States by Peter Eisenman and Michael Graves, who were professors at Princeton University in the 60s. They proposed a linear city stretching from Boston to Washington, D.C. The plan also consisted of two long strips, one for housing, offices, and stores, and the other for industry. However, those ideas never really got across the finish line. That is, until maybe now. Recently released footage shows that extensive excavation along the length of the megacity is underway, with the first phase of the project expected to be completed in 2030 at an estimated cost of 1.2 trillion Saudi Rials, or about 320 billion George Washington. If you're planning on spending a couple hundred billion dollars on your own futuristic smart city, you're gonna want to learn something about architecture, so make sure to subscribe.